What's up guys, XR with Kiwis here and welcome back to another video. First of all, thank you for being here and choosing to click on the video. If you could of course, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be very much appreciated. So, um, like all my videos, I'll show you my team, player instructions, custom tactics, etc. And then open the packs. So, this is the team I'm using. I'm pretty sure it's the same team as last week. Um, not really, there's only really one other player that I want to try in the game and that's team of the season, Neymar, but... He's still over like 4 mil or so. This Mbappe is still brilliant. I got him for 1.6. He's gone up quite a bit. He's now 2.3. So I could sell him. But I still wouldn't have enough for Neymar yet. Um, but yeah other than that. Da Costa at left back some people asked about. This Da Costa card for me. Is by far the best fullback on the game. 6 foot 2. Um, 99 sprint speed, 97 jumping, he feels good as well, like he doesn't feel like an absolute tank. Um, Dumfries, exactly the same the other side, he's not as good as Da Costa, he feels a bit weaker, like, strength wise, but he's still really good. Um, so yeah, I'd go above them two, above somebody like a Lala, just because of height, that's literally the only reason. Um, Hullet Vieira. This De Bruyne is so weird. He's played a ridiculous amount of games for me, 1,300, but he's either brilliant or awful. There is no in-between. Bench, I mean, Hazard and Sancho are insane off the bench. If you didn't do that Hazard, you made a mistake. The only reason I don't start him is because the players that I use, it's impossible to get him on chem. Um, so, yeah, any questions about the team, of course, let me know in the comments down below. I play 4-1-2-1-2 attacking, drop back, but with four depth. Drop back, as I said last video, it's just because when people play chip through balls, if you play balance, they don't drop back and actually follow the runs, whereas on drop back they do. But high depth means, obviously, I don't play park the bus at all. And then fast build up play, four, width, four players in box, two corners, two free kicks. And player instructions are the same every FIFA. Get them behind and stay forward on the strikers. Stay forward on the cam. Stay back while attacking on the CDM. I use cover centre as well. Some people use cover wing, but I prefer cover centre. And then stay back while attacking on the fullbacks. So, yeah, as I say, always use that every FIFA. Um, click, my, click my screen just so it doesn't go off. I, I say click the screen and I've somehow broken it. Right, there we go. Uh, yeah. As I said, any questions, let me know. So, division rivals, I'm pretty sure I finished rank 2. I did, so I'll take the two ultimate packs. Hopefully I can pack some team of the weeks. Just because I've been looking at doing some Icon SVCs, but I can't be bothered to go out and buy the team of the week. So, I think I've only got two left to do on Omri, but the team of the week, so I can't be bothered to go out and buy. But we finished 11th in the weekend league, which gives us five player picks, team of the season pack, Interesting that they kept it as team of the season. I thought they might change it back to team of the week now that they've brought new team of the weeks out. But it is good, I think, that they've kept it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get something out of these red player picks. I haven't had anything um, usable in... Honestly, since the end of Ultimate Team of the Season, I'd say. I haven't packed anybody good. Um, so hopefully I can get something. Um, and Neymar would be nice, obviously. As I said, he's pretty much the only card I want to try. I mean, I definitely don't want to try any of these. Uh, while we're here opening the packs, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I would really appreciate it if you did. Hoping to do a lot of content when FIFA 20 comes out. Obviously, now it's just a down period for FIFA. So I appreciate you being here anyway um, at this down stage. But yeah, um, if you subscribe, hopefully... You'll actually get the videos from YouTube, get 94 there, into your notification box when next thief comes out. I want to do squad builders, tutorials, anything like that, just a lot more. And uh, yeah, would help me out a lot. Um, oh yeah, 98 Suarez, already got him obviously. Can I take him? Uh, I don't know how it works if I take him and then can I open the other packs? I don't think I can, so I'll just take the 93. Obviously that Suarez is... Um, a duplicate untradeable anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. Can we get anything in each? See, this is just this is what I don't understand. We're in August, and I have no reason to open a 100k pack. I get a walkout, but without best of, oh no, always forget to turn my TV down. I said I'd like to pack a couple of informs just to put them in SBCs. So Alcacer, um, yeah, it's just without best of impacts. What's the point in opening packs? I think I've logged on once since Sunday night. Two informs. 
I logged on twice, uh, once since Monday night, which for me is literally nothing. I've discarded them. I don't know why. I was meant to put them up to a trade pile, but didn't have the energy to put them back up after I'd already put them down because honestly, it didn't really matter. No walkout here. It's just there's no reason to come on anymore. Like in my opinion, of course, the foot swap players they look really good. But for me, it's too late in the game. The weekly objectives at this stage is not worth grinding for. So I just, if they kept best of impacts, I would have still grinded packs here and there and play. Well, I wouldn't say play the game, but I would have come on, done SBC, stuff like that. But now there's just no reason to, in my opinion. Let me know what you think. I honestly can't see the problem that was just leaving best of impacts till the end of the year. I'm sure they done the same last year. I'm sure they less left them until the end. I mean, I've just opened back-to-back -back 100k packs without a walkout. What's the point? Like, no one at this stage of the game is going to come on and grind packs for this reason. Because there's just no point. I'm pretty sure player prices are still pretty high, though. I looked to, like, 82s the other day. An 82 uh, Gnabry, and he was still, like, 4.5k or something. So, player prices are probably just going up because a lot less people are opening packs. Three packs in a row without a walkout. I mean, actually, that first pack, I didn't even get a walkout technically. It was an 84 team in a week. So, it's not even an 86 walkout, which doesn't surprise me, but we'll discard them. Again, Guedes was meant to go up to the transfer list, but we don't worry about that. Uh, people ask about my Lightning as well. Problem is, I changed it a few months ago um, when I had my face cam out last time. I thought it'd be cool to have one that changes colour. What I didn't think of is now I've lost the remote to it, so I can't change colour anyway. And this normal white is anything but white. Like, it's basically a dark grey. So, I will be changing light bulbs to obviously get better light soon. It's just when I can be bothered to get up and change it. Um, also, background. It's quite plain at the minute. I am hoping to get my um, signed FIFA card from ePrim by Gerard Delafay up there. And then I'll want to get my x hour kiwi shirt from eprem framed and put it behind me so come fifa 20 it should look a lot better how have i opened 400ks and 225ks and got one walkout this is why people just aren't going to come on and grind for this it's just not worth it um click something again to make sure that the computer turns uh stays on sorry a lot of duplicates here. I'll just do the first three and then send them up and discard the rest. I'm not really bothered about the 4k coins extra or something. Also, for the OG people that watch my channel, the curtains, they're not England ones anymore. I know, disappointing, right? But, um, yeah, England didn't win the Nations League, didn't win the World Cup. It's not come home. England's curtains had to come down. Hopefully we can get something in this team of the season pack. As I said, I want to use Neymar, but I still need like an extra million and a half to get him or something. So, a good player would be nice. I don't know who that is. That's Gomez is a 95. He's got a good card. Very small. But he might sell for a little bit, just because he's one of the better Serie A players out there. Um, links to, obviously, Messi and Ronaldo if people want to get him in their late end teams. And, as I said, he is a good card. But, Edison, Verratti... Nine golden, couple of, yeah, 200k, don't mind that. Fernandinho, oh, he's going for more than I thought, actually. Yeah, 150 odd for him. Santi Cazorla doesn't sell for anything, I bought him for my Arsenal past and present. Edison, 100k or so. Yeah, and Gomez, 100k or so as well. So, I probably made less than I made last week, but as I said last week, the player prices at the minute, can't expect to pack anything. Um, pla all player prices are pretty low at the minute other than the top top players which I don't expect to pack anyway but that's back to back 100 um, back to back top 100 weeks and the red player picks were pretty dreadful I mean very dreadful I did get Suarez this week but I've already got him so it doesn't matter to me and the 100k packs and team of the season packs were just average at best but it's August so it doesn't really matter only play for fun now anyway really appreciate you being here just waiting for FIFA 20 to come out now, really. If you've got any questions for me, of course, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer. I do have work at about 12, so in a couple of hours. So if I don't acknowledge your reply straight away, it's because I'm at work and I'll reply afterwards. But yeah, if you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And that would be very much appreciated. That's going to be the end of the video for me, guys.
thank you for watching